Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be this attacked by zombies, but with the glam smoky eye. I'm going to put time codes for both parts so you can see if you want the glam part or the zombie part. I uh, hope you enjoy. So I'm going to be starting by using my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer as a base and applying it to my lids and blending it out with a beauty blender. Then I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in black and applying it to my lid and later on blending it out with a dome shaped blending brush. Now I'm going into my Vida Loca palette and taking the black shade and applying it all over my lid to set that um, black pencil so it won't crease or move. Then I'm going to take the red shade from the palette and a big fluffy brush and start blending it into my crease. Then I'm going to take the darker red and also blend it into the lighter red and into the black to have a nice gradient effect. I'm taking a makeup remover wipe and just cleaning um, under my eyes wherever I had any fallout. Now I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and applying it all over my face. Um, this one is a few shades lighter than my skin tone because I wanted to look a little pale. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Skin Locket Concealer and applying it under my eyes. And now I'm setting my concealer with a translucent powder. Now I'm going to take Smolder by MAC and apply it to my waterline. Going in with a small smudger brush, I'm just going to apply some black eyeshadow uh, to my waterline and under my waterline and smoke it out with the red and the dark red. The same thing we did on the top lid, just on the bottom. And I'm going to apply two coats of mascara and false lashes. Now I'm going to take my bronzer and contour my face. Now I'm taking liquid latex and some torn up tissue and I'm going to apply the liquid latex to the areas where I want the torn skin and then apply one layer of tissue latex again and then another layer of tissue and then another layer of latex for each wound i did about two or three layers of uh, tissue and latex but you can do however you want if you want it thicker if you want it thinner um i started with the mayron latex and it kind of burned my eyes so then i switched it up to the crayolan uh, latex um i don't know maybe i'm just more sensitive or something but i know that some latexes are more irritating for the eye area and some are less irritating After the latex is completely dry, I'm very carefully, even though it doesn't look it, I was very careful uh, tearing it from like my skin and tearing like the flaps and, and areas where it was kind of difficult to lift from the skin. I just used like tweezers and I started picking at it until I was happy with the way it looks. Now I'm going with my darker foundation to apply over the latex. I'm using a darker one because the latex is white. So for it to match my skin tone, I'm using a darker foundation. And then I'm going over everything with a damp beauty blender just to make it all smooth and blended with the skin. Then I'm going into my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and applying the dark black, the dark black, I'm <laughs> applying the black inside the wounds uh, to give it more depth. Now I'm taking this bruise wheel and I'm taking the blue and like the olive shade and also the red shade to make some bruising around the wounds. And making sure everything is blended with my beauty blender. I'm taking the red again from the wheel um, palette and applying it to my waterline and to wherever I wanted it to be a little lighter 
to give some like highlighting to the black. And then I'm going to take my stage blot and apply it inside the wounds. I'm going to take my uh, texturized sponge and just stipple some blood like around the wounds and then I'm going to take my blood paste and apply it into the wounds to give them a little more texture and to make them look a little more realistic. And after that this look is complete. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!